everyone i hope you're well i just wanted to do a quick um channel update sort of video a bit of a bit of a ramble bit of a bit of an update um, i've got lots of new subscribers on my channel i really do appreciate that thank you so much and uh if this is one of the sort of first few videos of mine you've seen welcome i really do appreciate you joining the channel and i hope you enjoy my content um in the future so um as i say i do hope everyone's well and i really mean that you know this is a difficult time and um i think there are it's going nowhere you know we're going to be we're going to be in this situation for a little bit longer yet but it is all worth it so i do hope everyone is well in lockdown and um that you're finding ways to keep productive and busy you know i, I say that I, I do want to say actually something on this um there was so much pressure at the start of lockdown to be doing and making and improving and learning and reading and all these things baking and learning a language i think that pressure was so toxic in so, in so many ways. And some people put that pressure on others, some people put that pressure on themselves. And I think I felt a little bit of that pressure, but really and truly, this time is about just seeing it through. Um, yes, we don't wanna just be sitting there doing nothing. If you're one of those people who would look back on this time and think, I didn't, I, if I could do it all again, I'd do it differently. I would, I would, I would have done this or that, you know, fine. But I think truly that the whole sort of like show of, look what I have made, look at this, look at that, it, it's, it's meaningless. So. I hope you're enjoying it and I hope you're making the most of it in whichever way works for you because one size doesn't fit all, we know that. Personally, um, I have been reading at the start, I was really busy, I was sort of cooking and doing this and that and I think just trying to keep busy in the absence in the absence of work. I found myself doing lots of tasks and, and trying to jump around different hobbies and activities and creative things and painting and drawing and writing and you know, I just couldn't settle on anything and I'm still a little bit like that to be honest, I'm struggling to settle on one task. Um, things that work one day don't work the next and uh, yeah it's very strange um, I've been quite down at times if I'm honest that's been quite tough to work with like yeah just feeling flat and really low and just you know where are we going um, in terms of my reading I've, I've sort of have had some success with reading um, I've read a few books and you know I think again I've been jumping around different books and I mentioned to um, uh, Dara Therese, if you, I'll leave a, a link below. Dara's absolutely fantastic. Um, go and check out her channel, she's brilliant. Um, she mentioned how, um, she, oh, I read him, and we were talking about slumps and, and f you know, get, trying to trying to find the book where nothing will do. And I, and I was saying that thrillers, um, for me, thrillers are the book that does it. When I'm struggling to read and get on with reading and, and make some progress, it's usually thrillers that suck me back in. I think they just grip and they compel and they must be they must be finished. I haven't enjoyed the classics that I've been reading um, massively. I listened to an audio book of um, The Catcher in the Rye, a uh, video on my channel, didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> um, I'll let the video speak for itself, go and check it out by all means. I also listened to the audio book of Animal Farm, again, didn't really get into it, didn't really enjoy it. Um, video on my channel i'll let it speak for itself now i'm moving into thrillers and i really enjoy three hours by rosamund lupton it's fantastic it is so 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 good um and i've also just got a, a book i've bought a book in the supermarket for a fiver hardback should have been about 13 14 pounds um the guest list sounds amazing it's um a wedding set on a remote island off the irish coast and um it's a big lavish wedding uh but a body turns up and um yeah there's a killer amongst the wedding the guest list so really really intrigued by that one but other than that you know we're just chilling um girlfriend works from home i can't work at the moment i've been furloughed um and it's a long road man it's a long road like it's but we'll get there we will get there um one way or another you know i've been writing as well that's been really fun um i have finished two well no i finished one thing completely it's sent it's with the it's with the publisher it's you know i'm um, fingers crossed it's um i'm hoping it's being um it's it's run by regina st Clair. um if you know um regina uh, regina's haunted library on youtube on booktube it's uh, a call for submissions it was a call submit for submissions from booktubers um with active booktube channels who want to write a short horror story so i chucked my name in um i've written my story i've sent it and um there'll come a time when i'll share a little bit on my channel um, I've got another um, short story which is being entered into a competition and uh, deadline is July and um, that one is the literary taxidermy one I've mentioned so that one is drafted but it needs cutting down and it needs um, editing and formatting and all the rest of it but we're getting there we're getting there um, I've also got some other ideas of things I want to write um, the trouble is I don't know a bit like with reading I don't know what I want to write in terms of style and genre and everything else i don't know what i want to create and i think a bit like reading you just read what you want to read in the moment and i think i'll end up just writing what i want to write in the moment but 
I have stories in my mind that are perhaps more, I think it's because I read so variedly, I get inspired so variedly. So one week I'll read a dark thriller for adults. Then I'll read something with a sort of time slip romantic element. And then I'll read something with, you know, in fiction with monsters. And so, and, and I kind of want to write one of those each. So I don't know. Um, I think I'm just going to keep writing, see what I enjoy and also see what has any form of success or what people like. Um, but feedback from a girlfriend was good for my story. Um, I know our loved ones have to be nice about what we create. Um, but <laughs> seriously, she, she thought it was good. So yeah, reading, writing, chilling, um, cooking sometimes. And just, yeah, I hope you're well though. I mean, you know, leave, leave me a comment. You know, what you're reading, what you're up to, how are you getting through this period? There have been some really, really helpful, there are some really helpful videos around the BookTube community um, regarding sort of managing your time and feeling accomplished, but not overwhelming yourself. And it, it's important, it's important. But yeah, the channel is growing. Um, I'm pleased to say that arrows are green and pointing upwards all over the channel. Watch time and views and clicks and uh, subscribers. That, it means a lot to me. Um, I do want the channel to be successful. I, I do want it to be um, a good reputation and be useful and helpful and enjoyable. And, you know, I hope it's I hope it serves its purpose, whatever its purpose is. I hope people find books on my channel. Uh, they they find me discussing books that they, they enjoy the discussion. I hope the discussion is um, accessible and... and you know meaningful um but yeah it's sort of my own little reading record but i really appreciate the support there's been some really nice comments um videos are doing well and um yeah thank you all right guys i think i'll leave it there but um look after yourselves and i will see you soon take care